Hello, guys. This is another practice strokes. And I'm going to go over some simple flowers that make your bo bo uh, bouquets more wonderful. One of the first things I'm going to do is with a 12 flat, I dampen my brush, laid it on the paper towel. I'm using some leftover paints from a painting. And I tell you to do that quite often because it's kind of nice to use up those paints practicing. All right. So I'm going to touch push down and lift, touch, push down and lift. And these are little daisies and the jagged tips are a good thing. That's how they actually look. This is the back petals. All right. And then I can make some front petals. So I'm putting some space in between. So I'm going to push these a little harder. Pressure, lift, pressure, lift, and pressure, lift. You see how these turn a little bit that way and these turn a little bit inward. All right. And we'll come back and put centers on there, but you can do extra layers on there too if you want to. And so now I'm going to pick up and show you with the white on the brush, I can come right in here with moon yellow and yellow ochre. And I can come up with another look where I'm pulling the petals in. And this time, see, I leave the space. So I have white and then I just go pick up these alternately. Picking up different colors to get the look I want. So look at this. I'm pressure harder harder and turning all right you get that feeling now what i want you to see is i can pick up the daffodil and the white and now i can come right in here in between you can do the same thing with the white above I'm pushing and lifting pushing and lifting all right, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. This, These tutorials I made just for you guys out there who either have never done one stroke, never painted before, but would love to paint. And so I'm showing you step by step how to make these flowers happen. And all of that's with the chisel of the brush. All right, so if you want to see more, you just keep coming here and picking up the different looks and petals and leaves that I teach you. And then you can create your own bouquets. So this is magenta, pure orange, and that yellow that's left on the brush. Now this is an upper pressure lift pressure. And when you're lift, you're pulling towards the center. Okay. And I don't know if you can see how brain pretty that is. But I'm going to pick up some more orange to show you that I'm going to come right on top and do some more layers. Let's see how it gives you a very nice flower. And all of this is with the chisel edge, this chisel right here. My brushes are synthetic nylon Donna G. Berry brushes for one stroke. And I think you'll love that. I'm using Plaid products, and Plaid makes my products. And it's like Plaid ribbon, Plaid. And we have good quality brushes, good quality paint. I use multi-surface because this will go in glass, metal, wood, ceramic, paper. And I've even put this on fabric. So what I'm sharing with you, especially if you join our membership, I teach you more and more on how to be a one-stroke artist with me. And I need teachers very badly. We've got people all over the world that teach one-stroke that are certified with me. And I would love to see what you guys would do as a teacher for me. And the best teachers are those who've never painted before. And they learn one-stroke with me from the beginning. And so um, 
they're doing it they're not colored by other techniques that they've learned from before this helps them to teach in the method that i like my students to learn okay i like to teach you how to make money and save money through your painting all right this is going to be a tulip so i'm sliding on that chisel again then i make a little bit of a tip and then i slide back down this takes a little bit of practice see i go right back into the same spot turn your pad so that you can easily do this pedal i like to show you that this is just a regular art pad, black paper black drawing paper and this is fine texture and it, it's a 70 pound paper and so it doesn't wrinkle very much and it's really smooth all right so i'm going to come back in here because this one was too thin all right so i'm going to come down here again and i'm coming in lower so lower means if i'm here see the back ones and this one's lower then you see that you can yeah, turn this around you see that you can see into the flower I need more white here because look, you can't see that. There we go. All right. So to finish that look, it looks like it's missing right here. And I can even bring one on this side. All right. And another one I like to do is I kind of make one fall off or fall down as it's spent a little bit all right <laughs> i'm going to stop for a minute and put a little center in here so i can use yellow ochre and this is my quarter inch scruffy my set of brushes is less than 20 dollars gives you 10 of my one stroke brushes and so you get liners flats and a couple of scruffies it gives you everything to create my technique and those that set of uh it's called a value pack set of brushes so you have the right paint when you say i practice and i can't get that feeling if you don't have the right thickness of paint and if you don't have the right brushes because my brushes are made just for my technique and so I'm excited for you to pick up a set, get some good, pa good paint, and then paint with me. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of green here. I'm not really concentrating on the greenery right now, but I just want you to see that if I come in here and double load, double load is the most important thing. So go check out my double loading uh, tutorials until you feel comfortable loading the brush properly that's the key i have a great double loader and you'll see me use that i'm just using leftover paint so i'm not at my double loader right now see i'm back on the chisel again and i'm pulling those stems all right so we can come right in here And right through here from the center in here. I just want you to see. Let's get another 12 here. I want you to see how fun leaves can be. But I'm going to go back to doing a few more flowers. So don't leave me. All right. So look. All right, we're doing a daisy leaf. They're real loose. And they go in and out. Okay, we needed medium. Let me show you that floating medium. See that clear? When people say, what is that that you go into? 
if you use water, you get muddy. And we want to not be muddy. We can also pick up more paint and go right back over something. See how pretty that turns out? One more time. And then I'm just teasing you because you can go learn leaves on many tutorials. But right now, I want to do a few more flowers. See how I turn that? And my eyes are looking at the edge of that. Isn't that kind of nice? All right, so let's go back. And I want to show you another tulip um, using yellow. All right, so we have magenta and white. And we're going to come pick up some yellow on the white edge. All right. So we're going to come right here. And slide back down. Pick up the white. Pick up the yellow. And slide back down. So I'm picking up the pink and the white. A little bit of yellow. Now, see how I curve that? It makes the petal look like it curved. Let's do this over here. So I have an arrow. See the arrow? So I start flat over here. And then I'm going to push down with pressure, stand up, and turn, turn, turn back to there. So see how that makes it look like it cups and turns? And we blended, shaded, and highlighted in one stroke. So every stroke, I come and pick up paint. All right, so we're going to come right in here. And I can come back in here. But you can put those little arrows everywhere to make it easier for you. So for instance, I can have an arrow here. All right, so I could go right here. And I curve there. And you could do two things. You can slide back down like I've done, or you can come right here and come back up to that tip. All right. I'm going to put this one back in here again. The beauty is you can restroke and go right back over it until you get the look that you want. This is a smooth, easy tulip. You see how that curving, look how natural that curving looks. All right, so then I can come right back in here with some greenery to do that stem. All right. Get some medium so that I can go pressure, stand up, and lift. All right. These are basic fun little projects a little blossoms that I think that you'll like doing. I can come in here and put a little bit of licorice there. A little bit of licorice here to get that center of that flower. And that we're not seeing, we're not really seeing the tulip center, but we could put like a little one Oops, <laughs> little one popping up right there. And a little licorice right there. So it might look like the center. Now, very simple strokes. Chisel, chisel, sliding down. Now look, on this one, we can come up in here and break it up by putting heavier paint in the middle from the center.
and I'm just playing. I need to stop and let you practice some of these. This is your homework. You kind of work with this during the week till my next lesson comes out. And I don't know about you, but I like to get on Netflix and whatever and binge on shows. And I was so excited when the first people said, oh, I so binge your tutorials and your relaxing pain. The membership starts at $9.95 a month. And all the little lessons you get. All right, some leftover paint. Think of it all the cute little greeting cards you can do. There we go. Until next time, practice. Thank you, guys.